Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer from Summer Moon Tarot. Today I am doing a pick a card reading. This is via request by Anita. And who will you be dating in 2020 or who's coming towards you? Um, like, you know, I just, we're kind of nosy, right? I mean, this is why I got into this line of work is because I'm, I'm nosy as hell. So, uh, I hope everyone has had a very good Thanksgiving. Um, I know for a fact I survived mine. Um, barely made it out alive, but you know, I mean, we're here, right? So, very exciting. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that bell down below because we keep it juicy. Just letting you guys know, I will be splitting this video into two. This one will just focus on who's coming towards you or who you'll be dating. The next one is who are you sleeping with next in 2020? Um, this could, yeah, I mean, if you're single, taken or whatever, there's no judgment here whatsoever, okay? Um, also, this is a very general reading, so if it does not resonate with you, let it fly away. I've been getting a lot of angry comments and a lot of angry notes. Um, just let it, yeah, just let it go. It's seriously, it's not a big deal. If you really want a personal reading with me, just let me know. And also, speaking of which, I only have one opening this week, this upcoming week. And then I will be shedding the books on um, the second week of December. So if you need to get in a reading with me, you better you better do it really quickly, because I think I only have a few spots left. And then I'll probably will have a wait list for for January. So I won't be doing any readings in between and up until uh, uh, excuse me um, until January. Okay. I am excited for you guys. No Nikki here today. I'm sorry. But I got my little Christmas town or building or which what have you out and it's just so cute so I'm like okay I gotta replace Nikki with something right um so yeah I am excited you guys I hope everyone is doing well and let's go ahead and let's get this started all right you guys today we are only working with three piles over here I have pile one Pile two and pile three. You can go ahead, you can pause the video. You can meditate if you like. Also, you can use a pendulum. Um, and if you're a call to pull or choose more than one pile, by all means, please go ahead and do so. All right, you guys, let's go ahead, let's get started. Hey, you guys, for those who chose pile one, I'm just moving some things over here. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Number one, I think I, I feel like those who choose the first pile, you have a very definite energy about you. I call like the number one piles those who stand in the center of the elevator, you know? Very bold, right? So we got the Fox Spirit. I love this. I feel like the fox spirit says, think on, think on your feet. So this is a person who I think that you'd be going on a date next. I feel as though that they're very fiery energy. Um, getting a lot of heat here. I feel as though too that they're just very passionate. They are, um, they're very witty. They're like they're quick minded. Like they piece together things really fast. They might like be like a, um, you know, it reminds me of those people who play or not play who solve Rubik cube, Rubik's cubes, and they do it really, really fast. It feels though that's how their mind is. It also feels though that's probably how your mind is too. Like it's like it's constantly going. I know my mind's like a hamster wheel. Like it's seriously like nonstop. Okay. So it's like a yeah, fox spirit. The eyes are definitely popping out to me. So I feel as though that they could have light brown eyes or like an amber eyes even. I feel as though they're really cute. I mean, foxes are like, you know, it's almost like I, automatically I got swipe or no swiping. So I feel as though that there probably be swipe or no swiping your body. If you can, oh my God, that's probably bad analogy. Bad summer, bad, but hey, we're just gonna roll with it, okay? So let's see 
what else that they look like here. Interesting. So we got Ten of Cups. So I feel as though this is going to be a very long-term relationship for a very handful of you. I wouldn't say like a hand, like a like a small handful. I'd say maybe like sixty-five percent of you. The energy that I'm getting here might end up in marriage. Might end up even with a child, or you know, or you know, you could be a, a pet parent um of some sort but i am getting that they have so really interestingly i got so we got two swords here this to come up in reverse but more of looking at like some characteristics here going on okay and then with the ten of cups you see how her hair is red we got fox spirit so i did get that red is a very like prominent color of some sort i feel like that they Maybe for a small handful of you, they could even be like a redhead um, or probably have like brown hair with, you know, maybe some tints of red. But I am getting definite brown, definite brown, even with the five of wands. So we got five of wands here too. Sorry, I'm just going to go ahead and lean in, let it focus. So we got some five of wands energy here too. So with the fox spirit five of wands. We also got Ace of Wands, and I feel like they're very passionate, like very passionate. I think like, I know, I sometimes I kick myself, so I'm like, I should have like brought out the sex tarot like now, but I want to split this into two, because like I said before in my previous videos, not everyone is into it, okay? And it's no big deal. So we got like the two swords and the Ten of Cups here. That red is really popping out to me like really popping out to me. They might even be like wearing red or like the color red too, okay? So like, yes, I did say redhead, so don't freak out and don't come at me. To be honest, I think some, I mean, I've seen some really good ass looking redheads. Like, oh my God. Anybody seen Outlander? Oh my goodness, capital F and find that man. Anyway, sorry. Back to this. So I feel like that they are a more of like a protector. They have a very fiery energy like I mentioned before. I feel like they will fight for you. Some will look at you funny. You might have to like calm them down. I feel like they might jump the gun a little bit. You might have to be like, okay, babe, it's no big deal. All he said was hi. You know, I mean, it's not like, you know, that lady's gonna take me away from you, okay? So that's what I'm getting here, especially with the five of wands here. So I feel like that they are just like very gun ho. But I honestly feel like that they are very expressive. Like I got jaws, like their jaw, like if it's like a female, like I feel as though they're the, they might be a little bit like on the oval, maybe a little bit oval faced, right? Um, but male, I feel as though like that jawline, you know, like when sometimes you're like, ooh, baby. Oh my goodness, it's like, they, I can even like see like a five o'clock shadow here. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my goodness, I'm getting carried away. I'm parched. Anyway, so let's take a look at their personality. Very determined. So you got the chariot card here. Very, very, very determined. I feel as though that they're very, um, um, uh, what's the name? What's not the name? Very motivated. When I also mean like by passion, I don't even mean like by passion just in the bedroom. I mean by passion like as like, you know, in life, work, their passion of course about the people that they love to. We got the emperor card here. So very definite dominant energy. That goes both male and female, okay? I also feel as though too, we got the two wings. So the number two is definitely popping out to me. I'm just gonna leave this in. There we go. So two of wings definitely popping out to me. And then we got ace of shells in reverse. 
So I feel like when I see this, and it says love at the bottom and it was in the reverse, I feel as though they've been burned in the past. Like, burned bad. Like, this, I don't even mean just by like love, like, you know, like in a relationship, I feel as though they probably have been burned by a female of some sort. This could be mom, sister, aunt, grandma, whoever. Um, I feel as though it's more on a feminine energy, so this really could be anybody, but I feel like it may be a little bit on a female and could be a relationship that's gone really bad. And, and that's why they feel like that, that they should protect. And I honestly feel as though too, that could be like something that, or something happened, happened to someone that they know too, and they feel that need to protect. They feel that need to fight. They're going to fight for what's theirs. Okay. I know this is a person that you're going to be dating when you are theirs. Good luck getting out of that. Because they're going to say mine, 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 I got mine. They're going to look at you and be like, yeah, you're mine. No one else is, you belong to me. For me, it's kind of sexy. You know, like not in a, like in a toxic way, like kind of mine. But like, you know, I don't know. I, I did this. I don't even know why I did that. So sorry. There was something wrong with me. Yes. So we're coming down to the wire. The masculine, the masculine, that masculine energy. I honestly feel like that this is, this is great. Um, look at that body though. Look at that body though. Look at those muscles, those abs. So I feel like that they take care of themselves. Um, they take care of the people around them. Definitely looking to take care of somebody. I feel like that, um, like when you guys will meet. When is a little bit tricky, but I got two. So it could mean like different things. So it could be two weeks, two days, two months. Hell, could be even February. I'm kind of leaning towards the February time frame. Okay. Also, too, hmm, where is going to be, it's going to be unexpected. I feel like you're going to be occupied with something and they're going to come up and talk to you and be like, wait, what? Who, who is you? Where did you come from? I don't think I've ever seen anything like you before. That's what I feel. So I feel as though you're going to be, I, I can literally see you being occupied by something like picking up something or talking to someone. And then here they come like front and center, like, Hey, how's it going? You're like, what the hell? You might like want to fight first. You're, you know, back up. No, it's not going to be like that, but in a good way. Um, yeah, so I feel as though they're going to be very expected, very confident. They have a lot of power and I feel as though that could be like a position that they have. Um, especially with the emperor here, feel as though like they, their personality is very, very strong. Okay. Oh, so then your last card here, you might start seeing 777 when you meet them or really, really close to when you're meeting them too. Um, or this just could mean like if you're starting to see 777, this could mean a confirmation for you as well. So it says the only thing that is real is love. Oh my goodness. So like I said, I feel as though this is going to be a long-term partner, especially with the 10 of cups that we got a little bit earlier, okay? So it says, shift your focus back to love. Feel as though, there, for a handful of you, there's some distractions going on. And when you start feeling love, you know, like there's some days, like randomly, you're like, oh man, I feel like light, like light, like a cloud. Um, I feel like that the more that happens, 
You just, when you're around them, you're gonna feel really loved. Like I feel so, number one, you guys are really lucky. Really lucky. I just hope no one hits, hits on you in front of them. All right, I don't wanna see any of you guys on the news, okay? Just, just saying. All right, so shift your focus back to love. I feel like that this person, very fiery energy, very passionate, very strong, not just physically, mentally, emotionally. I feel as though the bedroom is going to be on point, okay? Keep in mind for my next video when I post, okay? Cause I, I feel like this energy is gonna transfer over there, all right? That is all that I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love doing this reading, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Take care. Hey, group two, I'm coming at you. You know the deal. Let's get down to business. I feel as though this is going to be good ASS energy. Let's do this. <gasps> three, three. If you're starting to see threes, bear with me. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Here we go. So we got horse spirit. Beautiful, majestic, strong. Like when I see a horse, it's just, I I don't know. I mean, other than of course I want to ride it. If, oh, I kind of went a little bit on the sexual side there. So sorry, it says freedom is yours. Well, this is a probably riding into a sunset kind of thing. But also, too, saying that freedom is yours, that's really sticking out to me. It feels like you're going to feel very free with this person. You're going to think freely with them. They're very open-minded. But I also feel as though um, this might be a grab-your-stick-out-of-the-closet situation and get ready to beat some ass because people are gonna come out of the woodwork, okay? I just had like a visual. This is gonna sound like really strange before I even move on because if I don't mention it now, I'm going to forget. I literally had a visual. When you're on a date with this person, I feel like the waiter or waitress, you know, regardless of who it is, gender-wise, they're going to give you a side eye. I felt as though, I swear, I felt as though I had to mention that, that they're gonna give you the side eye. Girl, don't, oh, girl, boy, whoever, do not tip. I don't pay for attitude. You shouldn't either, okay? Better to keep it together. So definitely that. It feels like you're gonna be, you might have a hard time with the public. They might start side-eyeing you, might start being short with you. So keep that in mind, okay? All right, so here we go here. So we've got King of Wands. So this is like what I like to see. So King of Wands, yeah. This is what I like to see, right? Um, I feel as though you might have had an inkling to pick pile one. And I think like that's gonna be, yeah, that's the case. So we got the Hermit in reverse, okay? We got the Six of Wands in reverse. A lot of Wands energy here, okay? So anytime, like, I love this card here. I always call him the Sex, <gasps> he's on a horse. On a beautiful horse. Oh my God. I call this the sexy man on the horse. I'm losing, I'm losing my mind. I shook it to my core. Okay. And then we got queen of swords here. Lovely. So the, the, the color white is popping out to me. Could mean like several things. I feel as though that this person, like they're, they are pure. Their intentions are pure. Um, for some reason, I got to maybe a handful of you, a very, very small percentage of you might be virgins. Um, like I said, very, very small percentage. I mean like a handful, 
right? I mean, handful, like in one hand, okay? Um, <sighs> I feel as though this is a Pantene Pro-V situation. They probably have um, anywhere between like black hair, black to even like blonde. For like some of you, I'm getting that blonde. For some of you, I'm getting that black hair. I'm getting that wavy, like, you know, like a little bit long, but not too long. Like, I mean, it could be mean either or like maybe like to like yay here, like wavy, silky, like you wanna run your fingers through it. You know, think about it. Like when you look at the horse, look at that. Look at, oh my goodness, that horse hair. Just wanna run your fingers through it. I mean, look at the hair on this guy. I mean, come on. It's just so beautiful. I feel like that, like I said, you better be bringing out that stick from the closet. Um, so then we got the hermit here in reverse. This to me is like, you know, they're could be going through a time where they're doing a little bit of soul searching or you're doing some soul searching as well. I also got two that this, anytime I get the hermit, in my opinion, and um, and um, this is proven to be true, at least like in my my experience, that they're tall. It feels like there's some height here going on. Um, I also feel as though that they're very, I wouldn't say entirely calm, but they will tell you how it is. Like it takes a little bit to get them upset, but they tell you how it is, okay? And I feel as though too that people who interact with them, they it's like they draw them in. Um, yeah, I, that's what I'm getting, like they have this magnetic energy to them, okay? And they're gonna feel that magnetic energy with you. Uh-huh. So we have seven of gems here. I'm going into the romance tarot. So let's see at the bottom of your frustration. I feel as though this is you. There's gonna be a lot of frustration from your end when you when you're on a date with this person or when you guys are dating, yada yada yada. Like I said, like I it's, and it's scary that this is actually has popped up that you will feel some frustration. You're gonna feel really aggravated really quickly, okay? Um, then we got also temperaments, or temperance, oh my god, temperaments. Temperance, and we got patient. Okay, and then we got the magician. And then we got four of gems, which is possessiveness. This goes either way. I feel as though, um, like I said, you might have been, been wanting to pick pile one, and that makes a lot of sense, okay? Because... I feel as though they're going to be a little bit possessive and you're going to be possessive too. I think when people check them out, it's going to really irk you. Um, and I don't mean like, oh, hmm, that's a nice looking person. They're going to be like, and you're going to be really annoyed. You're going to be so aggravated. I actually feel it. I, feel, I can feel the aggravation. I actually had that happen once. Almost. Been I've been having the itching palm lately. So um very patient, very like mild, I would say like very mild tempered, but don't make them angry. Okay. They will take it, they will try to resolve it without having to be in your face. You do not want like think about it. Think about a horse, like horses, just gentle creatures. Very mild tempered, but then when you pee them off and they charge you, you're going down. Like, good luck running away from that, okay? All right, so for the timing, wow, I feel like like this pile and pile number one feels as though the timing might be a little bit on the fast end of when you guys will meet. Now, timing is, is a little bit tricky, and I'll always mention it. Um, because, um, you know, everyone has free will and you could change the course of, of your future and how timing works. Okay. But it feels like it's going to be a little bit on the fast end. 
I also feel as though too that you might meet like during like a social gathering or social event of some kind. Um, I might even like a handful of you might even meet in a coffee shop. I got that. Like you might be getting coffee, you might be doing your homework. Feels as though some of you guys are students and um, they will like approach you and, or sit like at like those big tables where they share. Feels as though that you might sit there, might like start picking up conversations and exchange some numbers. <laughs> yeah, baby. You get a sip for that. Ooh, yeah, they're going to, they're going to make you, I think they're just so easy on the eyes. I even got tattoos. So some of, they might have tattoos or you even might have tattoos that you like. So I feel as though they're going to be really easy on the eyes. And I also feel as though that they're just going to like, just talk, talk you in and you're going to feel so comfortable around them. Think like if you saw them, like without even having to speak to them, you might be a little bit intimidated. But then once you guys get the talk in and get the converse conversation going, it's going to get amazing balls, okay? Here we go. So we got the pack here. So I feel like that, like I said, um, I don't know if anyone has really watched the intro, but I feel as though this could be a potential soulmate, okay? And the same path, you're on the right path. You might start seeing 888s when you're around this person. Um, also, too, I feel as though that they might take you on a different path in life. If, you know, um, you guys progress your relationship, um, I feel like that your life is going to change. And it's going to change for the good, for the better, okay? And then lastly here, we have focus on love. Oh my God. I feel just the fact that, she, you know, she's, <sighs> she got a dragon there right in front of her. Looks like she's offering something, like a beetle or something. So I feel as though that this person will probably, or you will probably offer them, um, you know, a love offer or they will offer you so you know, give you a love offer. Don't know if I... I need to start like sleeping. Anyway, so look for the good in everyone. You might not, you might be a little bit hesitant when they, um, when they come and they talk to you. You're like, I don't know why this person is talking to me. Um, just be a little, you know, be open to it, right? And look for the good in everybody. And also that means look for the good in yourself as well. Some things, so I got, I got exactly what this meant. Look at the good at everyone. There's a dragon there. Dragons are hella scary. I don't want to be giving any dragon no snacks. But apparently this dragon's very nice. Right? Very calm. And she's offering a beetle to this dragon. And I feel as though this is the same thing. When this person comes, you're going to be like, I don't know about this. I don't know about all this. Right? And it's like, find the good in everything. And find the good in everyone, okay? But when this, when this goes, I mean, this person, wow. I also feel like you're, y'all would probably be on the same level in the looks department, okay? Pile two, that's all that I have for you. Let me know down below if this has resonated. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also keep an eye for my other video if you want it to be juicy. Okay, because I feel as though the juice is going to hit the f No, I should never even say that. Oh my God, no. But thank you so much, okay, for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. My last but not least, pile three. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. There's some like beautiful people going around and I feel as though yours is going to be the exact same. Well, I'll be damned. We got the peacock spirit. Look at that. So peacocks, usually like when they have those beautiful feathers, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that they're males, right? 
Um, and they're just so beautiful and eye-catching. My God, there's some, like, uh, seriously, there's some, like, good-looking people in, like, all three piles, all right? And I, I am shooketh to my absolute core because, I mean, I don't know what to say. So it says, let it shine. This person shines, and they will let you shine. You will shine with, no, not let you shine. I feel as though they shine, and you shine along with them. That makes a lot more sense. I actually like that phrasing better. So I feel like that this person is a little bit of a show off. Just a little, just, just a hair, right? A tad, just a bit of a show off. I feel like that they, they can't help themselves of how they look. They honestly can't help it. I feel as though they're very unique in how they look and their appearance. I feel as though they also have a very good dress sense too. But um, I also got two. This person that you might be dating might come from money. Okay. I even got the word old money. So could possibly be have family who has wealth. That's what I got. That means you could buy me some steak. Or shrimp, lobster, or hell, all three. Anyway, just kidding. Um, there I go, I get carried away. So we got five of pentacles here. Right. Let's get into it. So we got the chariot here and then reverse. And we got the judgment. All right. This is good. And then we got the knight of, yeah, the knight of wands here in reverse too. Very interesting. A lot of wands. A lot of wands all across the board. I honestly feel, okay. So I know we got the chariot in reverse, midnight of wands in reverse, but I feel as though that this person, remember I said like they come from money, I'm getting that through the chariot. I know like for those who are hardcore tarot readers probably going to be like, Summer, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I honestly feel like they probably even have like a very, very, very nice car. Very nice car. Um, like I said, like they stand out. They seriously stand out. Hold on, turn off my hair. They seriously stand out like a sore thumb. Seriously, they really, really, really do, okay? Sorry, I'm just gonna let this camera focus. Anyway, so um, we have five of pentacles here. And this tells me that they are going through a difficult time or they have gone through a difficult time to or maybe even like have a little bit of anxiety um i do feel like too that they're just they're very confident but there's there's like something there and you probably won't be, you won't see it on the first few dates, but then like when you peel back the layers a little bit, they, you might be seeing like, I won't say like red flags, you just, we'll see, I mean everyone has anxiety, right? Everyone has fears and whatnot. It's not a, like, for me, that's not, that's not something to be like, yeah, I'm just not gonna date this person, right? But I don't think that's the case. I just feel as though that there's something in their past that might affect them. There we go. There's something going on that probably is affecting them or might affect them, okay? So then we have the judgment card, which I absolutely love. This is all about like renewal. This is like, this person's gonna feel like a, a breath of fresh air. Um, I also feel like that they are just going to like swoop in. Now for some of you that he might, he or she might come in a little bit and they might leave. Right? They might like drop into town or just take off. All right? I don't want you to be like scared. But 
Um, I feel as though with the knight and the judgment, now the judgment card and the fact that we got the judgment card and the peacock spirit too, I feel like that they have, I'm getting like, there could be like dark hair. I'm getting that dark hair. I'm getting like that short beard. And I feel like that they got that, like that beautiful hair swoop. I don't know if that's, if that's a thing, like a hair swoop. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're just, they're like, like, yay. Oh my God, I'm not gonna even try. Yeah, I look, I look weird. But yes, I feel like that they're just very, they stand out. They stand out in their looks. And I feel like they have a very fixed gaze. Like, they'll just watch you. Um, very intimidating to look at. This person might even have tattoos. Um, with the judgment card here, it feels like that, that they have tattoos. But at the same time, I feel like they're very down to earth, as weird as that sounds. But yes, like they, they are very high possibility that they come from money of some sort or they work, they actually work um, and make a lot of money. But I feel as though that they're just very down to earth. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that they're just very down to earth. Like they're very easy to talk to. They're easy to converse with. They're, they like to be outside, you know? Like they're just cool. Like they're just a cool kid, really. Uh, remember I said like with this that they could be anxious? Dude, I am like tripping balls right now because we got five of gems. Guess what it says there at the bottom? It says anxiety. Our work here is done. No, I'm just kidding. Let's keep it going. So we got 10 of wings. There we go. Okay, and this is difficulty there at the bottom. And then we got death, transformation. I'm just gonna lean her in a little bit. Come on, get the focus. There we go. So it says transformation there at the bottom. So we have death and judgment. So this person definitely has probably gone through a transformation or will transform your life. And also too, they are romantic. They feel so they're like oh, hopeless romantic. Like they will remember the small things. They will remember the small details. This is, I, I honestly, if I met this person in real life, um, I would probably be friends with them because I feel like if there is an argument going on, I need him in my back pocket because he's going to remember every single damn thing, okay? I also got two that they could be into law. I don't know why that popped up, but it did. Could be very well into law. So, um, yeah, hopeless romantic. Um, so the tinted wings with the difficulty. I feel like that their past will creep up a little bit um, and you'll probably find out why they're so anxious or maybe how you probably be overly anxious when you go on a date with them too. Um, I am getting that for a very good handful of you, you might start getting the jitters. Um, so of where you will meet, I feel as though this is going to be very interesting. I cannot really see where you will meet. I know it will probably be anywhere between a few months. For a very decent amount of you, this is like, this is definitely in 2020, okay? But I feel like that they are Huh, that's very interesting. It's not telling me where. It's not telling me where. I'm like, I'm looking I'm like, is it outdoor, indoor? Feels like it's at night. You'll meet at night, in the nighttime. Definitely the chariot, you'll definitely meet at night. And also your date will be in the nighttime too. Um, this might be a, uh, um, <clears throat> Um, a sleepover type date. Your first date. 
<laughs> you go you. Anyway, so here we go. So we're coming down to the wire here. So we got fruition. Look at that. Super beautiful. Look at all those fruits. And um, there's also some birds there. So you might start seeing some, like, keep in mind of birds. Your pile. Keep in mind of birds. So funny, so we got a peacock too, right? So keep that in mind. I am getting birds hardcore with this card. Um, especially birds that fly in pairs. This is a very high abundant type of relationship. This relationship I could see even going to long term. Um, but I feel as though like the crown or the, the fruit above her head um, I could say like this is like an abundance crown. There's going to be abundance like flowing everywhere. It's going to shower you and cover you in all which ways that you're going to be absolutely satisfied with this person. This person will definitely keep you guessing. They will, um, they will push your, your limits a little bit, uh, but like in a good way, right? Also got, they might be a little bit kinky. Anyway, so we got Demonstrate Love. I love this. This is just awesome. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. I love it. When you meet this person, it's okay. Act on it. Like, come on, like, shoot your shot. Shoot your shot when you're ready, okay? Um, this person actually is so funny because now I, I did get a visual like this person will probably talk to you or say something to you and will probably walk away. That's why we're getting the Nine of Wands here. That's what I mean like they'll probably come to you probably walk away and then you'll probably be like hey how about we meet up for coffee or tea or dinner or whatever. Um, but I feel as though they'll probably try to like throw some flirtatious hints at you and see if you buy it. You might not like get it at first. I'm bad at flirting. People flirt with me and I don't know what the hell they're saying. Okay, so um, go after it, man. Shoot your shot. And this will be awesome. Pile three, that is all that I have for you. Let me know down below if this has resonated. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Keep an eye on um, the juicy video that I will post actually tomorrow. So um, I feel so this energy actually, yeah, I feel this energy and I think pile one's energy might transfer over, but keep an eye out. Yeah, baby. All right. Hope you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you later. Bye.